してるより愛してることを伝える言葉がないのは So I'm gonna do a walk around of the tail veil real quick. There's Miss Lucy, and、uh, as you can see, the tail veil provides a lot of space. It really is nice, and it went up super easy. And even Miss Lucy got to help. Well, she got to be helpful in the little commercial. So there you see it. Lots of distance. That's pretty good, huh, Lucy? All right, so let's show everybody how to set it up. Lucy! Wake up! I got good news for you. What is it? We're going to go set up the tail veil. All right, you ready to sit down? All right, so the tail veil is another tent, and this tent is different than my other tents. The clam and the、uh, reactive outdoor, they are freestanding tents, but like the habitant, this is like the habitant, but on steroids. Ugh! Notice I'm not. Okay, that's five pounds, so that's my limit. This is the tail veil. And、uh, the company is really, really nice. I like this company a lot. And you can just go to tailveil.com and let's spell it one more time tail veil.、Um, this actually attaches to the hatch of your truck.、Um, now then, it is pricey. It's $199.95. I'm not sure if it includes shipping. But right now it's Memorial Day, and a lot of places are having Memorial Day sales. So maybe you'll get lucky, right?、Um, it does weigh five pounds.、Um, and the thing I love about it is it's made in Florida. Now, why is this important? Of course, that it's made in the USA. But who knows more about annoying bugs than people in Florida? I mean, they have the worst bugs between no seams and mosquitoes and everything. Absolutely horrible. So. The nice thing about this is you don't need tent poles. Now it attaches to like mini vans, the little Trans Connects, SUVs, and I've seen people in Priuses use these.、Um, why? Because,、um, like the Habit Tent, you have to stay in the car basically.、Um, but with this,、uh, I'll show you. You can、uh, use both the indoors and the outdoors. I'll show you. I'll show you. Now I think it works best with two people setting it up, even the Habit Tent. When the wind kicks up,、uh, it's difficult to get these things on. All right. And the only other thing is, you definitely do need to stake it down. And I'm going to see if the stakes were included or did I lose the stakes again. All right. You ready to go outside? Oh, there is only one drawback.、Um, like, let's say you have this attached to your van and you want to go to the store, you have to take it off. But that's the only drawback. And,、uh, you know, like my other tents, they mark my camping spot. So if you take this off, then your camping spot's not marked. But if you're only there for a day or two and you have all your supplies, it's perfect. All right, let's go outside. Okay, all right, so what you do is you lay this flat. There's a layer of blue. This is the、uh, tent screen. And this is what's going to be on the top, this layer of blue. And this is just step one just lay everything flat. All right, now then, there are two little hooks that look like this, one on each side of your van, and all you do is you place it on your tire. There we go, just like that. So I'll go ahead and do that to the other side. So I have them attached to both sides. Next, what I want to do is I'm going to attach this blue part to the top right here, and it has Little straps that if I want to strap it up to there, I can do that too. All right, so I mesh that seam in between where my hatch opens, and this I can tie right here if I want to, but I'm just doing a demo. That just makes it more supportive. And what I'm going to do next is on one side, I'm going to unzipper the side room and jump in the back. All right, so we're in the back. Hello out there. So we're in the back, and all I have to do is lift up my hatch. Lift up my hatch. Kind of hard to do this while I'm filming. Step out. And we're done. You know, I do have to put in, it has some areas for little tent poles, but it gives us like five feet in there. It's really nice. Really nice to keep out the bugs. 
and look how simple that was that was absolutely amazingly simple you can put your chairs in there there's plenty of space for two or three people i love it and i also have the uh privacy curtain too all right so miss lucy and i would like to wrap up our little two cents about what we thought about the tail veil um do we like it I like it. It added a bunch of uh, living space to the back of my van. Um, actually, the quality is amazing. It's set up, I think even in wind, I can set it up all by myself. That's only like the second or third time that I've had it out. Um, I had it for, our, I believe, my Volkswagen bus. Yep, I did. Um, what was the hardest part about the tail veil? Okay, so I'm not sure, but my girlfriend got it back into the bag. Uh, it took me five minutes to get it back in the bag. That was the hardest part. And uh, the other thing is, is there is no videos out there on YouTube about setting up the solid blue uh, screen room. So I'm not sure, do you leave up the tail veil? Does this go on top of it? So I'm going to uh, talk to the company and see if they have any handy hints because I couldn't figure out how to get up the privacy curtain. Um, that was the only downfall. But then again, I'm not mechanically inclined at all. You know, I just watched one video and scratched my head and said, oh yeah, that's how I used to do that. Um, remember, I had my Volkswagen bus and I sold that over a year and a half ago and then I was in my Prius, so I didn't use it for my Prius. I got the Habitant for my Prius. Um, overall, to me, it's a luxury item, but you know what? If you're gonna be in buggy Florida or any place with bugs, uh, the screen room, it, it's well built. You'll, you'll get years of use out of that. All right, you want to say goodbye, Miss Lucy, huh? She just wants to go down for her fifth nap. All right, I hope you enjoyed it, and the clam is coming up. What? What?